Let's go. All right, John Flores, editor and chief of On The Level Magazine, the official magazine of the BMW Riders Association. I am on the 2019 BMW F850 GS. Just one level below the Uber, the Ubermensch uh, R1250 GS, the F850 GS is uh, a little bit more affordable, a little lighter, even a little more dirt worthy with a 21 inch front wheel. I've had it for about a week now and I am mightily impressed with this thing. The, the bike that it reminds me the most of is not actually the not actually the 1250 GS but actually the uh, Honda Africa Twin which I rode a couple of years ago uh, all the way out to Idaho. This bike is uh, kind of like that. This, I guess you would call it a uh, middleweight adventure bike. You know, uh, about a thousand cc's, about a hundred horsepower. Uh, the Africa Twin might have a little bit more power, it's a slightly bigger engine. But this 850 GS, this F850 GS is just fun to ride. From the moment I got on it, the, uh, the intake sound is this really lovely growl. They've uh, changed the way the uh, crank is offset. I think it's now 270 degrees to feel more like a V-twin, and they've really succeeded. This thing is a lot of fun. This thing really likes to rev, and yeah, it's just a hoot. This motor really just makes me want to rev and rev and rev it. It's not the extra displacement, it's just the revability. The red line's at 8,500 RPM. And uh, it revs really freely all the way up to, uh, all the, way up to the red line. So it's a, it's a hoot to ride. The thing that did surprise me is that the handling is a little slow uh, compared to the GS. And it might be a 21 inch front wheel. But I remember being out at the press launch and getting off the GS and getting on the R1250 RT and thinking that the RT was a little slow. The exact opposite happened here. I got off the RT, got off this thing, got on this thing, uh, the F850 GS, and it felt a little slow in the handling department. Again, I don't know if it's the 21 inch front wheel or, uh, or what else could be doing it, but it's just like a lot of these bikes too, it's, it's, it's you get off one and on the other it's just a matter of getting used to what it, how it handles and how it behaves right so that first impression uh yes it was pretty vivid but it really didn't last because i haven't been throwing this thing into turns and thinking oh i wish it handled better uh it's handled all of it quite well as with all bmws it has all the ride modes and i gotta change it to uh Enduro right now actually because I am on some gravel roads here in New Jersey But uh, You know this bike really is kind of built for adventure riding um, You know it's, it's actually more Dirt oriented than the, you could argue than the 1250 GS itself because of the uh, the large 21 inch front wheel that really clears It'll, it'll clear potholes and, and, uh, and other bumps a lot better than a smaller wheel well. But could this be a bike that you use mostly on the street? Because uh, I'm mostly a street rider to be honest with you. I think it can. Uh, this thing has about 90 or 95 horsepower I think. And it's very usable horsepower and it's fun horsepower. Because every time... Uh, it moved a little bit. It just, uh, it just likes the rev. Right? And uh, 95 horsepower and about 500 pounds is actually a decent combination for the road. It accelerates sweetly. 
more than enough for the highway. Right? And there was a time when 95 horsepower was a super bike, so it makes me feel old, but that's the truth. So, yeah, this F850 GS, this one has all the accessories. It has the ride modes, it has that dy dynamic uh, ESA, the uh, automatically adjustable suspension that uh, figures out what kind of, how to uh, set the damping and the, and the rebound and compression damping and base it on uh, your settings and what's happening on the road. It's, it's picking up, uh, the sensors are picking up what's happening on the road and adjusting the bike accordingly. This bike is just so easy to ride. It's a little tall for me. I'm a 30 inch inseam, so do have to be a little careful about where I park and getting it up off the side stand can be a challenge at times but this thing is just fun and it's confidence inspiring too so again the closest thing uh, I've ridden to compare it to is the Africa Twin. That Africa Twin had the dual clutch transmission, which was uh, novel and convenient, uh, but also sometimes annoying. This doesn't have that. This has a nice, the new uh, LCD display, which the Africa Twin didn't have. This has a little fairing, which actually in the summertime is nice, because uh, you do get a lot of flow and a lot of wind. I could imagine in colder weather you'd want a little bit more. You do have some big grips to help you out when it gets a little chilly. But this bike, uh, I had never ridden one before and I didn't know what to expect. I, didn't, I thought I'd get a, like a budget 1250 GS, of, uh, a price conscious version of the, of, the, of the big GS, but that's not what it is. This is a thing unto itself and it just feels light and fun that's the word fun whether you're on a dirt road or uh, whether you're on uh, pavement this thing from the first twist of the wrist it's just been fun so that's it john flores from bmw riders association and on the level magazine talk to you soon